A parade of players coming off the team bus as the visitors pull into the building. A very determined group coming in here tonight. Tuning into 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Now the starting group for the visitors. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. the game with the miss down low first shot Andre. first pass Number he's 14. on the blocks fast yes and once he got Four. to the 10 i think he was surprised to find himself that wide open well this early they should be showing a lot more energy on defense it's not there to the paint and that'll be two free throws coming up officials Number on the call with the foul First personal foul, first oh, team foul. Long arms and athleticism. And the line, and the down the team. For the Number 12. Yeah, they, they have shots. a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Shooting two. down the first one and last season saw the retirement of former nugget great and future hall of famer carmelo anthony clark he was one for the ages and you can't overlook the impact he had kevin and i agree with you one for the ages as a rookie helping them break an eight-year playoff drought and he never missed the postseason in his seven plus years in denver so he gets them both and at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Into the lane. <laughs> foul on the end team of shooting. Gets the bucket Ball anyway. So it's a good point play chance for him. First personal foul. At the offensive end, his game is so at impressive. The line for the away team. He's a threat Number every five. time up the floor. One shot. Shooting one. And just over a minute played here at the start of the game. Number 16. Nice touch there near the hoop. A floater. He can't get it to go. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. That shot off the mark. Train. That shot misses. I'm shocked that he didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. This is it to Castro. Back to Hollis Jefferson. Score the basket. Nice shot. Yeah, this is his first attempt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move the ball. Oh, you gotta love that action. Good. Number nice five. job down low. 
He has five. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tough with defensive. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Just five on the clock. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting for the first one. Second personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number five, taking two shots. is good. And so he makes both from the line. Gone three or five, shooting the ball so far. Tries again. He takes it up and plays number 32. And that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. It's stolen. One on one here. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. It's intercepted. Spiked away. Out to the wing. Here's Fuller. A jump hook. And that's two Fuller. points on the layup. Gone 1 or 2 from long range in the first quarter. Inside. Played in with a nice touch. Off Number the 16. Yeah, nice job Assist go here to of establishing Jason an inside Castro. presence. From deep, carries the long range jumper. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Castro. He's now Jason one for two with that fight. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. It's just a matter of who can catch that momentum. The shot misses. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. On loads. Timeout, timeout. Away team. And now, your fancy.
gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Eleven feet away. No shot off that time. Gone seven of eleven from the field to begin the game. Having that time, he's uh, over two. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. That's it. He's now three for three and looking sharp. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Shoots from 12, and he recovers it. Misses the chippy right there. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Misses from short range. Been well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Since that Jason one for the coach. Jasper. Six points for him. Keep these handles, folks. A spin move like that is how you shake the nearest defender up for good. Off to a good Number start 10. as he hits his first shot attempt. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Always going up for the LU here. And what an LU base to lead each other. So well. It's a point of surely love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Get off the and they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Beyond the arc, another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Swipe it. Away team foul. Four. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 32. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Got eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Game. Score the Game. basket. Number four. Five. He's only missed one Assist of his five five. shots tonight. Number three. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, Home team. he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups and matchups. Or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out this time. Out. Fast. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. 
Here's the floater. Number and three. Good that time. Gone two and three from deep so far in this game. Picked him clean. Goes up with this play, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, Number and now six. a three-point play chance here for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. At the line for the away team. Really power that Number 22, at the line for one. from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You gotta be tougher defensively. A put back controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's a pure hustle play getting to the offensive glass for the tipper. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not gonna make plays like that unless you expend the energy. Number 21. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for two. Number eight. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. One falls for him. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. to the right side. Rebound by Williams. Going two to the Two Most stupendous finishing trips. The assist. Kim, number 35. 144 left to play here in the first. Driving in. Oh, Number 25. No question. Powered it down. And Kevin, lots of standing around and, and watching by the defense that time. And he makes them big. Let me break down with that emphatic slam. And guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit. I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up at That's a free trade. It's the three-pointer. Yeah. Not no, sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open for me. One on two left to play in the first quarter. Zero. Zero. All alone on that one. Three. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Williams. to the inside that one off the back iron and out that shot off gone three or four on three corners in the first quarter doing well from long range that three off the mark 
And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at five. And he bangs in the lane. Five. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Both teams have it going That's here. That's the end of the first quarter. Which is the your home team, uh, one. 37. We'll get things the started in the second team. quarter when 36. it's turn. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense guys is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. Craig, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would be right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smart guy, number 14 he is going to get three targeted. points. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. He should have a good Defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Gone three or four from long range in the game. Pass to Fuller. Off target at the rim. Being a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. To the wing right side. Here's the pass to Castro. Off target with his three. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him the two good. Home team foul. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. the line for the away team number five Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Castro passes Dallas Jefferson. Passes it to Castro. Six to shoot. Elbow shot is on the way. Fires from way outside. And his third shot of the night. No good. Over three. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Number Kevin. Five. Now, some people play with a chip on their shoulder, feeling they don't get enough recognition. I can tell you that's not Nikola Jokic. Nuggets coach Michael Malone said he's not going to bed at night wondering why no one's talking about it. He doesn't care. He's reading his books on horses. We're winning games, and he's happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Kevin, I'm happy too. You've always been happy, DA. Hey, thanks. That was good stuff. Appreciate the report. Here we go. Fitting. Creating a little separation here. Number 28. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get Home the team. sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Well, it's been an expressive oh, here to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now.
And so here's the home team. In the second quarter, held scoreless. To the middle to end the run. And he gets it to go. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. The wing jumper off target. Got over two from deep here in the center. Down low. The shot, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Fuller, and he uses the pass on the way. He's got six. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. And the officials will call the illegal That's great. You can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Well, 106 in the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. Number five, the line. second personal foul, yeah, the first team foul. Over. He got in good there. I mean, that's why the, the shot was so good. Your home team, number seven, two shots. Shooting two. First one drops. That one is no good. Gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. To the wing on the left. Fires from deep. Sinks the triple. Nine points in the game so far. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. No good on that one. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. You know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Yeah, I mean, maybe he could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. One. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Number Might 12. Well. Keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. With the drive, can't hit from in close. Gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Pass to Castro. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. And his third shot of the night, no good, 0 for 3. Here's Fuller. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Got 0 2 from deep in the second. The pass to Castro. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. The second chance effort. And that ran good. Castro. Got a very strong 4 for 5 from three point land in the ball game. Wing. It's the 3.8. 
Six points for him. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed. Time out, time out. Home team. Wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Hey, fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! He's got a clear path. Here's Fuller, and it's blocked. There's the try. And it's not as quick as with the jam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, Gio, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Inside, Castro, Hollis Jefferson, great positioning on the putback. Yeah, just a fantastic job to stay with the play and just not give up. Excellent effort on the offensive backboard. It's up a three. No good. That puts him at two for six. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. It's blocked. Passes to Fuller. Good Four. job in the low post. 13 points in the game. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Pass to Alice Jefferson. Misses, and he wants that one back. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. But, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, Number I think five. you got to knock it down. What a move that time. Crossed up the whole building on that play. Pocket number three. Here's a perfect three for three to start. Now, that's where you like your shots to come from. On five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. And it's blocked. And here's the break. No good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Got over two for him in the shot. Puts up a deep three. Misses the hole, and he's now three for four. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, I, that looks to me, guys, like a heat check. Number eight. Maybe a step out Assistant. of this range. Four. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Three-pointer. They get him back. 
He hangs in there and covers it the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Over to the wing. Here's Fuller. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Castro. He gets Jason. it to fall. That makes it just a single digit. Oh, He's got guys. ten. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Out to the right wing. It's Castro. Hangs on the trifecta. Jason. His confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovich. They're trying to stem the tide here. Oh, yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Second team foul. At the line for your home team, number 13. Shoot two. First one falls. <laughs> that one falls, so he hits both of them. Gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. From 12 feet out, and it goes Number down 10. two points. He has six. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? play here in the half. Drops in the breakaway lane. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. That really has been the difference. I mean, they've been the better team in transition. Gets to the rim for two and the team all over him. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. To the right wing. Steps back and fires. And that's good. Assist goes no to No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes off. Thirty seconds left to play in the first half. Driving to the basket. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. 23 seconds left in the first half. Here's Fuller. This will blow. This bucket is good. Number He'll eight. have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Shooting for the away team. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Fuller. Don't know how. At the line for one. to get that one to go. But it sure was a thing of beauty to watch.
Just four seconds left in the first half of basketball. He made it! He That's the end of the second quarter. What's the score? Your home team, 66. The visiting team, 71. Even when you don't have the clock, you worry about the first game so far in the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Leading by five. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, give us your tip. They obviously came in wanting to push the action. And so far, so good. They're looking to get easy transition baskets because the other team is not getting back on defense. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half. Three things. I saw the defense, not enough pressure, but they still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Is that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The visitors with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Let's a floater go. Four. The score of the basket is eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Fast break. Here we go. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shot. Two shots. Foul. Two. 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 Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Good on both. Gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Boy, he just hasn't been able to get his shot to fall. Hollis Jefferson's gone just two three from the field. Right there at 25%. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Second half rolling along now. About a minute play here. From downtown. Good on the triple. He points for him. Number no the That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got six rebounds in the game. He's been up and out. The previous one. Juan Gomez dropping down. On the interior than they did on that trip. Covered by Hollis Jefferson. It's deflected. Out of and that's going to be out of bounds. The ball goes to the away team. Possession. Coming off the floor for your home team. Castro. 
The visitors with the ball. They lead by four. The layup off target. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Five on the clock. To the inside. And the pass to Castro. Wants to go with the three. Gets the three point of the foul. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. The putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive play. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. The adjustments they've yes. made offensively, yes. they're putting guys in a position oh, now team. to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. It's gone now in the third quarter. They get a hand on it. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Guarded closer. That gives him the lead. Hollis Jefferson's got six. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. And he comes Number up with this. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Lock at six. Can he keep it going? And the jumper is on the mark. 18 points for him. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really bad and hard now. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. From three point three, lane. One to one. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. The shot's good. 14. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. To the paint. Shoot two Number five, the free throw line. third personal foul, first team foul. At the line for two, number 12.
First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. And he's fouled on that shot. Number but he's seven. He's got the chance to pick up the points as well. Foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number 14. Two shots. down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time got nearly everything to drop this quarter. There's seven of eight from the floor since halftime. Down low. It's good. Right. Now he's shooting Number six for seven. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Gone five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for the Timeout, timeout. Oh, wait, yeah. Timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. So it's the visitors now. He takes it in, puts it up from 12. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got eight rebounds in this game. The shot will not fall. Going to somewhat so far, 4-10 on their shots in the second half so far. I love the advantage he has from a speed standpoint. Does a great job of creating separation for that shot. Driving the lane, and he drops in the layup on the glass. Assisted by number 28. And so here's the home team. Four-point game. Takes a three. 
No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. And he's good on the three ball. Three. He's got six. You know, he's always thinking. That's what I like about him. Spotted the open man and immediately changed out of his shot and gave it up. Takes the 13-footer. Misses the hole. Now shooting eight for 14. Fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. There's Castro. Oh, Away team foul. foul. Contact on that one. Number so one. Shoot two here. First personal foul. Second team foul. First trip to the free throw line for the next team. Castro. Two shots. First one falls. Williams, he's checked in for Howells Jefferson. And so he hits both. gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. That one, no good. Williams with the defensive effort. Lock at six. Here's Castro. It's good from the top of the key. And two points for him. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Off with the layup. Got him going here in the second half from outside. Nailing three of four from the arc. From the arc. And no good that time. Gone seven for 16 the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50% to the right side. Ball's not loose. The kick out to Williams. All alone. Offensive rebound. Lays it up and makes it in. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. He has been terrific. 54% on the game. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. He's got 13. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Roger. Right Number 16. Over to the left wing. The baseline J off the mark. And certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. The layup missed. Around 44% in this. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Timeout. Timeout. Now 
that home was team. pretty. A beautiful Art. move to set up that jump shot. The loudest and craziest fans get a free T-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. Gone three or five with the long ball since entering the second half. Pulls up and he hits the jump shot. Number nine. Assist from Ray. Number six. Two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. To the left wing. He's guarded by Williams. Rebound by Williams. In 55% from the floor. We're feeling very confident offensively. From down in the one Number two. The He's got six. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with him. Fifty-one seconds left in the third quarter. No good with the lane. A baseline chain connects the jump with Williams. Williams has got six points. And the efficiency is there, but the aggressiveness is really lacking. So far, it hasn't hurt them yet. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the third. Six to shoot. To the inside. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist in that one. Yeah, number three is having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. It's not going to go for it. Your home to team, 105, by the visiting team, it's the 94. NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. The space there, but it's offline. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Oh, team foul. Juan Hernan Gomez. Fifth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the away team. Fuller.
first one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. And the home team has possession. No good that time. Gone six of ten from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Number the Elliott crew. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Now, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignite. Number eight. The basket is good. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee. But who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And they're pushing it up. Third team foul. Number eight. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the away team. Fuller at the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Castro passes Dallas Jefferson. Off target on the 15-footer. Being an efficient 53% from the field. in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Pass to get Back to Hollis Jefferson. Four on the shot clock. Money from the wing. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Driving inside. From the line. He can't get that one to fall. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. That one good Red, for two. Number six. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Staying attached 
to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you got to tighten it up on D. And again, unable to change momentum. Can't get it to fall. Gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Got a piece of it. Shoots from 14. He can't hit that top. Gone four of eight in this fourth quarter. Shooting at even 50% from the field. on the shot clock. And he gets the two free throws. Number 22. First you know, personal foul. First team foul. Right to the rim like that. That's your only option. At the line, yeah, exactly. The I mean, free throws are always Number better than layups. So I'd agree with you there. And the first one drops. So it's both teams making substitutions here. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Trying to end the drought. Up again. Control Number for rebound. 22. Puts it back up and in. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance buffet. They can make a big difference. better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Here's Fuller. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. And there's the drive. It's good. Wow, Hollis Jefferson's got four points down in the quarter. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Missed inside. Gone two for two for three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Two offensive rebounds. They just can't get the lid off. Going inside. He's now made so, half of those ten shots 10. in the game. That's his fifth basket. To number one. Gone six of twelve from the field here in the fourth, and even fifty percent. to shoot. Oh, that's blocked. Got that bucket. Going all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Making a 46% clip in the fourth quarter. To the left 
side wing. For the three, good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Covered by And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. I agree. I mean, now's when they need a spark the most. Inside. How's that? Number two. Yes. Yeah, I love the communication Number eight. and the chemistry between those two. Gone six and eleven when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And he drives in. There's the three. Knocks down ball, the three ball. Number 28. That is his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Number six, second personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the away team. Number ten, taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Shots good from the strike. Gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Castro passes Dallas Jefferson. The pass to Castro. That one's not going to go. Gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. The lead is trimmed to single assisted. Four. 20 points for him. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Launches a three. No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only That's missed two ball. shots from the floor Number all night. Number 10. High drama here, guys. I mean, they've managed to get high just when it looked like this thing was out of reach. And what a huge injection of energy they got here Jason. in front of them. Suddenly, they're time out, time out. juggernaut. Oh, wait, That's team. just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Just make some noise for your Every yes, time you have a chance to review the lineups and matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And now we present a new player of the game. We saw outstanding focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. Guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. During the last break, listened in on Dr. Oryakovich talking to his team. He had some pros and cons. He said, I like our play inside. 
But what's happening at the arc, fellas? We gotta start making some shots. He needs more production from the outside. Thank you, David. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. He's got now 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Right the right the and the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, and for them to reduce the lead, they should keep the pace brisk. I mean, that's how they generated the highest part of the shot. an eight-point game. We've got 33 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The layup off target. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Alice Jefferson can't hit. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but a fish. That one misses.